Hi, so we are going to the Black Forest. We're gonna explore it and we get to eat Black Forest cake. We made it to the museum. Are you excited to go in? Yes, I'm super excited. But first, we're taking a little snack break, well, slash lunch break. Yes. Um, and we were in the car. We were talking about why it is called the Black Forest. And Emma, why did you say it was? Um, I guess it was very dark because of the, all the big trees, right? Yes. That is right. made it into the museum and it was 25 50 euros for the two children one adult and the small doggy yeti which is who's down there and also our parking so we're gonna go explore now it's an open-air museum so we get to see like how they used to live We, we made, made it, it to, to the Black Forest Open Air Museum. Yes, is it fun so far? Yes, yes. it's a lot of fun. And, so, it, and it looks like that they have a, even a blacksmith here. Cool, so all of the different homes that we're looking through were all somewhere else beforehand and they've moved them here so that we can see all the different living styles throughout the years of the Black Forest. Really, really neat. And we're lucky on such a beautiful day to be here. <laughs> So these hats have become a symbol of the Black Forest region and very interesting, the red ones are for girls to wear from their confirmation day until their married day or their marriage day and then after they get married they then wear a, a lighter, I mean a darker color like black. Super interesting. So this one is the farmstead of the district governor and it was built in 1612. And look how beautiful it is. So this is the Gutach Valley storehouse. And this was built between 1606 and 1626. I love how the thatched roof is, it's super neat. There's also a great playground and lots of seating areas so you can bring a picnic lunch and just enjoy the day here. We have a bunch more stuff so we're going to head out shortly but the girls are playing and enjoying it for a little while. Okay, since the girls are playing at the playground, I thought I would tell you a little bit more about the Black Forest. In German, it is Schwarzwald, and what it is is just a big forest, it's a, or a mountain range, that is in southwestern Germany in the Baden-Württemberg state. So, we're enjoying it. We're going to go see some more sites within the Black Forest, and we'll take you along. Emma, where are we right now? We're at the world's biggest cuckoo clock. Is it fun to go see the world's biggest things? Yes. yes. Are you girls enjoying your day in the Black Forest? Yes, yes we are. Good, I'm glad. All right, let's go see the cuckoo clock. Woohoo! The nice lady next to me just said it's 14 feet long and weighs 330 pounds.
so we parked all the way up here and we're going to take the path down to where it's yellow to go see the waterfall and then come back up again. Who's excited? I am. So just so you know, if you do come to Germany, make sure you have plenty of cash. I am not good with keeping cash on hand and I didn't have enough. Luckily the lady was super nice and let us in with me only with a, a little bit of a discount since I didn't have enough cash. But when you come to Germany, make sure you have plenty of cash because they are a very cash based society and I should know that but I forgot this time. So just don't forget that. <laughs> Freiburg waterfalls are advertised as the highest waterfalls in Germany, um, but that isn't actually completely true. They're the highest accessible waterfalls in Germany, but still super cool to come see it. We're on the second level bridge right now, and we came in on the top, um, and they're absolutely beautiful. So the Romans were the first to use the name Black Forest and it refers to the conifers that you can see in front of you blocking out all of the light. The Black Forest region is almost rectangular in shape with a length of 160 kilometers or about 100 miles and um, 37 miles wide or 60 kilometers. Also, according to the legend, the Brothers Grimm were inspired by the Black Forest when they wrote Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel and Sleeping Beauty. They published the original collection of tales in 1812. So there are some interesting facts for you about the beautiful Black Forest. All right, what did you guys get? Black Forest cake. Black Forest cake. They got theirs without alcohol, and I got one too, and I'm excited to try it. But right, you Liv? got a big piece with alcohol. <laughs> what do you think, Liv? Um, I only ate the whipped cream. All right, cream. we'll try some of the cake. Oh, it's so good. So good. Emma, what do you think? I'm so good. So good? Good. Still enjoying it, girls? Yes. Can you believe how big of pieces you got? I'm missing my plate. Whoa. But I'm glad you like it. Mm -hmm. All right, Liv, what did you get at the House of a Thousand Clocks? Um, what did you and Emma both got? You both got the same thing. Um, yeah, me and Emma both got one of these each. They're Ooh. really cute dolls. From the and Black Forest. And we plan to play the movie Parent Trap with them. Our last stop in the Black Forest is Lake Titisse. Are you girls excited to go check out the lake? Yes, we are super excited. All right, off we go. It's about 45 minutes from Triburg, and then an hour and 25 minutes from their home. So it's going to be a long day, but are you girls having fun so far? Yes, we're having a lot of fun. All right, good. Off we go. came to this restaurant right along the lake for dinner. Girls, are you hungry? Yes. I'm ready to eat. So hungry. Oh, being a little much, aren't you? A little dramatic. 
And that is a wrap on a beautiful day in the Black Forest. You can see the lake that we were just at all the way up here. It's back there. We are headed home and hopefully we'll all have a very good night's sleep. Thank you for wandering.